ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for being here today. We're now at the beautiful Kimball House Museum, and we are actually having an opportunity to share a family story. And we have the, the honor and also the opportunity to speak with Mike Nelson. And we're going to learn about Mike Nelson and your family story. So Mike, would you please tell us about uh, who you are and about your family? Well, my name is Mike Nelson, and I live here in Battle Creek. And right now I'm living in the Urbandale area. And my folks, or my father, came to Battle Creek. His name was Gerald Davis. And he came to Battle Creek in 1936 or thereabouts, and he went to work at the United Steel and Wire Company. When he first came to Battle Creek, he lived with relatives who had already come for a while. He um, lived with my aunt and uncle, um, Peggy and David Johnson, and then for a while he lived uh, with another aunt and uncle, Opal and Bill Romick. And so he managed to get a job and that's why he came to Battle Creek, because he came from Irondale, Ohio, which is in the hills of the Appalachian Mountains there in eastern Ohio, and there just weren't jobs, so they, he tried here. And he had uh, hitchhiked and also had uh, helped uh, keep a car on the road when he tried in the 30s. To, he went from Ohio to the West Coast looking for work. And uh, so he wound up here in Battle Creek because there wasn't that much work there either. It was the Depression time. And he got this job at United Steel and Wire and then uh, another aunt and uncle had gotten married uh, and my dad married my aunt's sister. And so it was uh, two brothers and two sisters marrying each other, and, and uh, it made for an interesting family, really. My folks, uh, once they married, they lived on West Roosevelt Street, and we lived there till I was about uh, 12 years old in two different houses. They started out in a little tiny three-room house and uh, wound up with a, a house, uh, a two-story house, because there were a lot of people in it that seemed like they were always taking other people in. And that was what families did. We had cousins and aunts and uncles that came and stayed, and, and this was the normal thing. When uh, Dad was, uh, Oh, he was laid off at the United Steel Wire one year. He went out and trapped. And he said trapping for fur. He made more money doing that than having a regular job, but he was sure glad to have that regular job back, too. <laughs> and, and he met my mother uh, up in uh, Davison, where she worked, and she was 17, and they, they got married. And they, they uh, were together 60 years. And, and uh, once uh, I turned 12, we went out and we, we were out in the sticks on Beckley Road. Uh, everybody asked us how come we moved away and went out so far away from the town. And now look at it, Beckley's the busiest street there is. Amazing. Yeah. And it, it was before I-94 was there, even. <laughs> and we had fun walking around in, in uh, fields and woods and stuff like that. And uh, there weren't that many houses out there then, either. And so uh, I started uh, school at Ann J. Kellogg. And after I had uh, surgery, I uh, went to Washington uh, School up there on uh, Washington Street, and it was nicer. I liked it. Uh, it was okay. I could come home for lunch, and you couldn't do that in <laughs> Jay. And then once we moved out on Beckley, I went to the Lakeview Schools, and 
I managed to make it through it. My mother drove me nuts to go and, <laughs> and to graduate. Would it be wrong to ask you approximately what year you graduated? 1961. Okay, very good. And then I really shocked him and told him I wanted to go to college. <laughs> and I made it. <laughs> Which college did you go to? Uh, when, well, I started out at KCC. Excellent. And uh, I went from there to Western. And then I graduated from Western in 68. But I, I worked for a lot of years there sure. and paid most of my tuition and books and car and all those kind of mm -hmm. things. But they let me stay home, and so I didn't have to worry about room and board. <laughs> that, that made a, a lot of help right there. Well, you certainly contributed tremendously to your own education. And I think that uh, it's a blessing to have that opportunity to be able to support yourself and with your family's help to carry you through your education all the way through your graduating from the University, from Western Michigan University. Well, they were kind of surprised, too. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Michael. Thank you so much for this opportunity for sharing your family's story. And, yes. I, uh, once I graduated in the following year, I moved to Colorado, oh, where yes. I was in Colorado for 26 years, and then I moved back to Battle Creek when my folks needed me, so I came back. Excellent. Well, what we'll do is we'll continue with more of your story in another short clip. But these clips are wonderful so people can get the essence of the family and the family story. And I want to thank you, Mike Nelson, for helping us out with your story. And, of course, it's in the Christmas season, and people will be watching this throughout the year. So this is tremendous. They're going to be in shock. And we want to let the people know out in Axis Vision Land, which will be all of Battle Creek and the surrounding area, that you too can tell your story, your family story, on the Battle Creek Family Channel with the Heritage Battle Creek and the Historical Society of Battle Creek. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the next time. Access Vision. Your voice, your community.